Hello and welcome to this demo video of Power Plugins. So Power Plugins is a complete library of over 60 different website plugins that you can embed on any website. So we have plugins ranging from forms to countdown timers, pop-ups, social media feeds, galleries, sliders, comments, even live chat, all of which you can use on your website. So when you sign into Power or sign up for a new free Power account, uh, this is the dashboard that you'll see. If you want to create a new plugin, simply click on the Create New Plugin button here. From here, you'll be taken to our plugin library. So here you can see our recommended plugins. These are our top ones. And we also have them categorized based on your goal. So if you'd like to boost conversion, so that could be getting more sales or getting more clicks on a button or on a download, uh, these are the plugins that we recommend in this category. Likewise, we have a category for getting more followers. So these are very social media focused and uh, related to building your brand. We have plugins for collecting information. So this could be through a contact form or for adding new subscribers to your mailing list, for example. We have apps for engaging your visitors. So this helps reduce your website bounce rate by keeping your users engaged with great visual content um, and social proof. And finally, we have apps or plugins to support your customers. So live chat, for example, FAQs to answer common customer questions, tabs for easily organizing information on your site, and a comments or reviews plugin where users can leave star ratings uh, or comments on your product uh, so that you can always collect feedback and uh, promote your popular products. So for today, I will give you a quick walkthrough of Form Builder. This is one of our most popular apps. Once you click on it, it takes you through to the Power Editor. And this is where you'll be able to create your plugin. So first of all, you can select your app so or your template rather. So depending on what it is you're trying to do. So we have this across most of our plugins. Uh, for today, I'll just show you for a mailing list form, for example. So I'll continue with this template. The great thing about all Power plugins is that the editing interface is very similar among all 60 of the plugins. So you never have to worry about learning um, a new interface. Uh, it's all very familiar. So we have the settings panel here where you can configure most of the common settings. And again, this is a common tab among all of our plugins. Specific to form is payment, where you can connect to a payment processor, uh, such as PayPal or Stripe, so that you can collect payment through your form if you're creating an order form, for example. But for this particular use case, this isn't what I need. And then again, common across all apps is the design tab. And this is where you can select uh, your background colors, for example. So here I'll select a nice blue background because we do love blue at power. Uh, you can even update your fonts. Let's say I'd like this one to be Oswald and the sizing, of course, and there are various other uh, design settings that you can always find within this uh, tab in the Power Editor. The great thing about Power Plugins is that they're automatically saved. You can see that as you work, so you never have to worry about uh, losing your work. And once you're ready to add to your website, simply click the Add to Site button. And from here, you can, when you first log into Power for the first time, you would select your platform. Um, in this case, I'll just select, let's see, let's do, I'll just do the HTML for today uh, because this is pretty much a universal install flow. And it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions for installing your app. Alternatively, you can also share your app. You can share this URL which enables users to view it uh, on the page by itself without even needing to embed it on a site, which can be great if you're running a survey, for example. You can also share by email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or you can even invite uh, collaborators here. So once you've installed on your site, you can view all of your plugins by going back to my plugins right here. And this will show you your plugins dashboard and you'll have a list here of all of your created plugins. If you want to create any new ones, you can simply hit the create new plugin and select the app that you would like to create. 
So I'm using app and plugin pretty much interchangeably. Each uh, website builder uses different terminology, but essentially app, plugin, widget, extension, um, we use them interchangeably here at Power. And you can use all of our plugin library on any site. So I hope this gives you a helpful overview of Power plugins and we look forward to seeing what you create.